Okay friends, don't mind me. We are making hamburger steak with mushroom gravy. Yes, we are. It's actually lunchtime here in real time in the Stewart household. Many times I'm cooking and filming in the evenings. However, we have another activity this evening. So I figured I'm making dinner at lunchtime. Also, this is not a dinner that I would dump and go in the crock pot or put in the Instant Pot. It's a stovetop recipe. So because of that, I'm doing it on the stovetop now. We will be having it for a big lunch. Yes and amen, maybe some leftovers. Those could be reused this evening if we need a late night supper dinner when we go home. If you follow all that, you're used to my videos, yay. And now, just like that though, because it is lunchtime and kids are playing, I've gotta to stop to get a Band-Aid on a boo-boo. Here we go. Now you're in, what are you asking mommy for? A lot what were you saying? Were you saying pistachios? Pistachios. Pistachios? You came in. You caught mommy, didn't you? Yeah. You want to eat some? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta take the shell off. Okay, because you're cute. Say pistachios. Say pistachios. Cheese. The cheese. You said cheese. Say pistachios. Pistachios. Oh, yummy. You can eat them? Mm hmm. I eat cheese. You eating? This is best. I see, Benjamin. Here, you want this? This has nothing to do with mommy making hamburger steaks, does it? I think I can now get making these hamburger steaks and mushroom gravy. My recipe on the blog calls for four pounds of ground beef. My big pack of ground beef from Aldi though is almost six pounds. So I'm making everything, you know, a little extra, whole lot, a lot of bigger. I will let you know the increased amounts of today's video, but you can also click the first link in the description, description below and go over and get everything you need to make yourself some hamburger steaks and mushroom gravy. And all of this is low carb and gluten free. Doesn't check the dairy free box but check some other boxes, yay. So again, on the vlog, it is four pounds of meat and four eggs. We are doing, we're saying six pounds of meat because it's just a speck off. We're gonna do six eggs. Next up, we're gonna put in onion powder and garlic powder. I've got two of these jokers here that I'm finishing up. Now, while I'm getting these ready, I'm gonna go ahead and get oil in my pan. This is about a tablespoon of oil. Again, eyeballing school is how we roll. Now, I cheated. I always like all the extra mama help as possible. Got the mushrooms already sliced from Ollie. They were like 10 cents more. One less thing I gotta do right now, yay. Those can cook for about five minutes on each side. I am going to hopefully now quickly get the rest of these done. Just leave them here in my messy bowl and then we'll put those.
I gotta go get a picture of a car trailer title for Travis. Peter's off, he's just gonna just sit here for two seconds while I do a wife errand. Okay, so all of the 24 hamburger steaks are cooked up. Now, yes, that was a whole lot, a lot of grease to deal with. The burgers though, they all turned out fantastically. They are here, they are uh, fulfilling their purpose. The deal with the grease is when I went to Aldi, I needed about 15 to 20, I think 20 some pounds of ground beef. I know I still need to order another grass-fed cow. We'll get to it, we'll get to it, right? <laughs> anyway, went into Aldi to get my groceries and the ground beef that I needed for various recipes. They did have some 90-10 ground beef. Beef that is very lean whenever you cook it up. I think they might've even had a, pa a few packs of like 93-7 or something, just very lean ground beef. Anyway, they didn't have a lot of it. I think for the 90-10, they might've had a total of two and a half pounds. And then the even leaner, which I've never actually seen in the store before, uh, I don't even think they had a pound of it. I mean, they were just little minuscule joke-sized packages. I needed, you know, the big mama pack of ground beef. Now, usually I can get the 80-20 in a bulk pack. They didn't have that either. So this is 70-30 ground beef. That is why we have all that grease. Burgers cooked up great though. I Burgers cooked up great though. I just set them on a paper towel to absorb some extra grease. So I'm gonna get rid of a big part of this. I'm gonna leave about four tablespoons or so in there and that's gonna help us get going with our homemade mushroom gravy that we're making for these steaks. Okay, so be careful while you do this. I have no children around right now. I'm gonna pour out a bunch of this grease. We want to save all the little bits and pieces though, but any chunks of meat that are still in here, those little bits we want. Okay, and you can see the little chunks of meat and there's still, there's scrapings on the pan. So I'm gonna work on getting those off. Then we're gonna put in our mushrooms, about four cups of beef stock and cup and a half to two cups of sour cream to whisk this up. We will do the sour cream last. a lot of in my recipe. I need two more cups of beef broth. I'm just going for half of the little container here. Now I'm going to put in about two cups of sour cream. I need my whisk. You never know sometimes what you'll, what you'll need. So this is roughly six cups of sour cream. No, we're not putting all this in there, but I want to do about two cups. So eyeballing school continues. You can get away with doing a drizzle of your gravy like this. It is thickening up on its own a little bit. I don't have, cause I'm on my game as usual. I don't, I cannot find any of my standard low carb thickening agents. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cornstarch in here to thicken it up a little bit more, but I will link low carb thick thickening agents that you could use about a tablespoon in the description below as well if you'd like your gravy a little thicker. Okay, so showing you, like showing you our plates like I like to do. There are two of the hamburger steaks with the mushroom gravy. We have a request for blueberries and blackberries, so this little plate is getting blueberries and blackberries with it. As always, click the first link in the description below to get this recipe with the four pounds of ground beef or up to six pounds of ground beef. With the six pounds, I ended up getting 24 hamburger steaks. With the four pounds, you end up with about 16 to 18 or so. So there you go. We're having our big lunch now. I'll see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye.